6. Jim picks up his little sister. It was a cloudy day. It looked like it was going to rain. Jim put on his raincoat and rain boots. He grabbed his umbrella and left his house. He had to walk to an elementary school to pick up his sister. It was three o'clock. Jim's little sister was coming out of school. He walked along the streets. He looked at his clothes. His rain boots were black. His raincoat was green. His jeans were blue. His umbrella was red. Jim looked around as he walked. People were dressed similarly. The clouds looked dark. They were heavy with rain. Jim walked faster. Jim arrived at 3.20. The school bell would ring at 3.30. Jim needed to wait 10 more minutes. He was at the front gate. There were parents waiting alongside with Jim. The school bell rang. Children were escorted to the front gate. Jim's sister ran up to him. They hugged and walked home together. 7. Jim walks Nancy home from school. Jim and his sister were walking home from school. How was school? Jim asked. It was nice, said Jim's sister. Her name was Nancy. Nancy was seven. She had black hair. Her hair was short and straight. She also had braces. Jim forgot to bring an umbrella for Nancy. Jim and Nancy huddled together under Jim's umbrella. The rain fell lightly. Let's hurry, Jim said. Jim and Nancy walked faster. Jim stepped on a puddle. The water splashed. Nancy's pants got wet. I'm sorry, Jim said. It's okay, said Nancy. It started raining more. They soon arrived home. Lightning struck across the sky. It sounded loud. They were safe inside. Nancy's clothes were wet. She changed her clothes. Jim did the same. Nancy looked out the window. It was raining hard. She was glad to be inside. Jim felt the same. 8. Making a Sandwich His stomach was growling. He had not eaten in five hours. He was starving. He went to his kitchen. He took out a loaf of bread. The bread was made from wheat. It was his favorite bread to eat. He grabbed two slices. He opened the fridge. He gathered all the ingredients. He laid them out across the table. He opened the jar of mayonnaise. It was low-fat mayonnaise. He spread it across the slice of bread. He used a knife to spread the mayonnaise. He unzipped the container of ham. The ham was honey-glazed. He grabbed four slices of ham. He put it on the bread slice. He opened the cheese container. He grabbed a slice and put it on top of the ham. He cut some tomatoes and lettuce. He put the vegetables on top of the cheese and ham. He glazed it all with ketchup and mustard. The sandwich was ready for him to eat. 9. Making Scrambled Eggs She woke up one morning and felt hungry. She did not eat anything last night. She got out of bed and walked into her kitchen. The kitchen was clean. 
She thought about what to eat for breakfast. She opened her refrigerator and took out a carton of eggs. She opened her cabinet and reached for a bowl. She cracked four eggs into the bowl. She stirred the eggs with a spoon. She turned on the stove and placed a pan on the stove. She turned the knob on the stove. The fire was lit. She grabbed a stick of butter from the fridge. She tossed the butter on the hot pan. She grabbed the bowl of eggs and threw them on the pan. She scrambled them with a spatula. The eggs cooked in minutes. They smelled delicious. 10. John loves to read books. Reading a book is fun. Books make you smarter. They also make you a better reader. John loves to read books. He reads books on sunny days. He reads books on cloudy days and reads books on rainy days. John has read many books. He read his first book in second grade. His teachers were very impressed. John was a good student. He had the highest grades in class. John learned a lot about reading books. He learned new words. He learned new verbs. He learned new adjectives. John reads every day. He has learned about the world. He has learned about history. He has learned about animals. He has learned about people. John loves to learn. He learns something new every day. John has many books. He has large bookshelves. They are full of books. John collects books. He has bought books at bookstores. John wants to read every book in the world.